Hey guys, what's up? Bro here. So I'm doing a different style of video for this week, so please let me know in the comment section below if you like this. I kind of had to trick my green screen and my programs a little bit to get this to work, so we'll see how all this works. But I wanted to make a video letting you guys know about the three methods that I've been doing to make gold lately in WoW, and it's been paying off really well, and I wanted to share you guys with uh, secrets. Although they're not really secrets, because it's probably stuff that people do already, but whatever. So the first thing that I do is I really work the auction house. Now, you don't have to be like some crazy crazy auction house hoarder person to get this to work. There's only a couple things that you really need to do if you don't want to be like super into it. Um, you know, there's always the buying low and selling high, which I like to do with transmog gear as well as green leveling gear. If you're going to do transmog and you don't want to get like too heavily into it, a couple pieces that I would look at would be the blood scale set, especially the belt, the pants, and the chest piece. I find those sell really well. On two of my servers, the chest piece seems to be more rare as well as the pants. Um, those can easily sell. I mean, there's been times where I've bought them for 50 gold and resold them for 2,500 gold. So super awesome. Another thing that you can look at is also the conqueror set which is nice gold plate. I find plate sounds sells a lot better than some of the other stuff. There's also Glorious. There's just a whole bunch of other stuff that you can be checking out. I will leave some links to someone that has some awesome shopping lists for TSM. You should definitely check out Profits. If you do not know who he is, he streams, and he does YouTube, and he's a really nice guy, and I use a lot of his listings uh, for some of this stuff. So definitely check him out if you're wanting to get into that. If that's really not your forte, and not something you really want to get into, then another method that I've actually recently started doing was buying pets and reselling them. So I actually bought, I believe it was a Firewing, I bought two or three of them for about 50 gold each, and I was able to flip them, one for 750, and another one for 400 and something. Um, so I've been kind of experimenting with that with different pets. Um, there's videos all over that you can probably look at to find some specific pets, but Firewing so far seems to be a big seller for me. Um, and even just looking at the more like high price pets if they get really cheap, like the Guardian Cub or the Spectral Tiger Cub, um, you know, and kind of just playing around with those, especially if you already have pets to sell that maybe you don't really want, you can try to see if you can fetch a little profit from them. Another thing you can do on the auction house is just list the stuff that you already have. Your gems, your enchants, your extra ore, your extra herbs, your other extra mats, savage bloods if you have those in your garrison, kind of whatever. And a lot of that stuff will fetch you a pretty penny and some nice gold to be hoarding or spending whatever your heart desires. So another thing that I have been doing is the garrisons. Um, so although garrisons are completely obnoxious and totally a giant pain in the butt, they can offer you some pretty nice gold. So one thing that I do is I have an inn that is level 2, which allows me to recruit new followers every week, and I can specify that I want them to have the treasure hunting, like the treasure... I think it's called treasure hunting or treasure hunter ability. And when they have that, it means it doubles your gold chances on missions. So I will stack gold people on certain missions, and I think the highest I ever got was over a thousand, and that was with two gold people on it. So if you end up stacking a lot of those, even for the lower missions that are only like, you know, a hundred gold, if you're able to put two or three of them on that, you can get quite a bit of gold weekly and even daily from these missions. Another thing that I also do in my garrison is I have the salvage yard, and I take the boxes from my missions and open them. Sometimes you can get some transmog gear you can sell. Sometimes you can just get stuff that you can disenchant, just kind of random stuff like that. Um, I don't think it's like super profitable unless you get lucky enough to get something that's actually really rare. But sometimes it's nice to have just a little bit of that extra gold coming in from that. So the last thing that I've been doing the last few weeks is running old raids. I realize it sounds really boring and mundane, but if you have two monitors, you can totally put Netflix or something on the second monitor. Or if you have a TV in the room that you play games in, you can totally watch a movie while you do it and you can net some pretty good amount of gold. So the main raids that I run every week are Firelands, Dragon Soul, Throne of the Four Winds, ICC, and I've also started running Blackwing Lair, I think is the raid, I don't even remember. And then the other one that's from Kata that I can't remember the name of, but I've basically been running any of the Kata raids, as well as ICC from Lich King, and it's been getting some pretty good gold. You can get depending on the boss fight, and if you do it in 25-man heroic, if it offers it, you can get about 120 gold, uh, give or take, from each boss. And you also get a bunch of items that you can either keep for yourself, sell if they're BOE, which I've actually been able to sell some of the BOEs from Dragon Soul for about 500 gold. And you can also get some, like, random items from these places, like 
greens that people might buy, um, stuff that you can just vendor for gold if it's gear that you don't really want. You can also get um, like cloth and all this other crap. And you can end up fetching a pretty penny for some of this stuff. So I try to run as many as I can in one week, and it usually nets me between five and 10,000 gold, depending on how many raids I run. Um, each one will give you about 1,000 to 2,000. Um, I think Firelands gave me 1,200. I think Dragon Soul might have been around that same amount. Um, ICC is a little over 1,000 as well. So it ends up adding up pretty quickly, um, depending on if you're able to sell any of the stuff. So you're at least looking at 5,000 gold a week, which if you do this every week, you will have plenty of gold to buy you a nice little shiny WoW token, which is what I've been doing because I don't really want to spend real money on WoW, but if I could spend fake money on WoW, then I'm totally for it. If you also have multiple alts that are able to run it, you can totally run it on other characters. If you do struggle with any certain fights, you can always run it on 25-man normal. Um, I think the only fights that I had trouble with in Firelands was Shanix, but if you burn down Rage Face first, then the fight makes it a lot easier. Or if you're a hunter or another pet that has a or another class that has a pet, you can put your pet on Rage Face and it makes the fight so much easier. Um, but be sure to pay attention to some of the fights. I definitely derped the other day when I was doing Blackwing and pay attention because sometimes you'll still die in some of these fights no matter your level and you can run these on even lower level characters I mean I can do some of them on my 92 mage who still has leveling gear and some mixed gear from the previous expansion but I mainly run them on my level 100 shadow priest although she's normally disc priest so all of her gear is actually disc however I just run it in shadow and it's pvp gear and I haven't really had any too many issues um, some fights take a little bit longer but if you have issues with fight you can always stock up on food, health potions, I usually run at least a flask, um, you can get like the burst potions too, so if you ever have any trouble you can always do that or bring your friend along. And of course another bonus from these places is you can get mounts from some of them. ICC has an invincible mount which you need to run heroic to get uh, 25 man. Uh, Dragon Soul of course has like two or three mounts in there, Firelands has two mounts which I actually got one last week, also yeah, ran I Volt last week and got another mount from there too, <gasps> oh so God. you kind of up your mount count and your ego okay. and it totally makes all your friends hate you yeah. and you get gold at the same time. Good. So those are kind of the three methods that I've been doing, so just to go over it is working the auction house, whether I'm selling pets or transmog gear. Number two is using my garrisons, whether it's doing the missions to get lots of gold treasure finding people or messing around with my salvage yard and number three is just running old raids and you can even run old dungeons if you really wanted to because some of the gear might sell but kind of experiment see what raids work for you try to run it on the highest level possible at least 25 man there's definitely some fights that i still swap to 25 man normal because i just don't feel like dealing with it like altraxian because f you altraxian you're a giant pain in the butt and so is spine if you have a friend to run dragon soul spine with you bring them it makes it so much easier that fight the most obnoxious fight in the entire world. Hopefully one day Blizzard will make it a little bit easier, but until then, what can you do? If you have any questions about these methods or have any extra methods of your own, please leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!